Hello, I am Santiago, Senior Technical Support Engineer at Dwyer Instruments, and welcome to this video highlighting the series Mark II plastic manometers. In this video, we will be showing you how to set up and use the Mark II straight out of the box. First, we will want to remove the packaging around the Mark II unit itself. It will come in a box as such. First thing in here should be the tubing to connect to your process, followed by the manual. The Mark II itself, and then of course the hardware kit you will need. Now we want to fill our Mark II manometer. First, we'll want to note the level indicator on the bottom of the Mark. We'll want to make sure the air bubble is in the center of the liquid to ensure proper accuracy in physics. We will then take a look at the zero set screw. We will thread this all the way out counterclockwise until we feel the stopper. You will not want to go past the stopper, as that may damage the unit. Once it's tight, you will thread the opposite way three full turns to ensure that your set screw is in the center of its range. From there, we'll take our fluid out. A new bottle will have sealant, as a medicine bottle would. Once you uh, puncture a hole through there, take that off. Uncap your fluid, remove the fill plug, and begin to fill your unit. While filling the unit, you'll want to make sure that the level is as close to the center as you can. Once you start to see liquid in your gauge, you'll re-level the unit and adjust your screw so that the fluid returns to zero. From here, if there is too much fluid in your gauge, you can take a pipe cleaner to enter the fill port and absorb some of the liquid. From here, once you have your Mark II in position, you will simply connect the tubing with the unit to the top of the gauge. There's a high and low port. And you may then run the other side of your tubing to your process. To use the Mark II in a portable fashion, you will want to order part number A-612 with the unit. This is a portable stand that will help keep your unit level while taking measurements. To get a NIST calibration with your Mark II, you'll want to add a dash NIST to your unit. This will give you six test points across the range, ensuring accuracy. To learn more or order any Dwyer product, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.